In this lesson, we will continue from previous lesson to deduce more trigonometric identities. So let's find out what tan alpha plus beta is equal to and establish the trigonometric identity for this trigonometric ratio. So tan alpha plus beta, tan alpha plus beta by definition is equal to sine of alpha plus beta divided by cos of alpha plus beta. So let's write this down, alpha plus beta. And we have just learned what are the expansions of sine alpha plus beta and cos alpha plus beta. This means sine alpha plus beta is equal to sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. And if you look at the fundamental law of trigonometry, this is cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta. And just in this corner here, we divide the numerator and denominator by cos alpha cos beta. Dividing dividing the numerator and denominator by cos alpha cos beta. So this means we have tan alpha plus beta tan alpha plus beta equal to let's write each term and then each term will be divided by cos alpha cos beta. So this will be sine alpha cos beta and it will be divided by cos alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta and we divide it again by cos alpha cos beta and obviously when cos alpha cos beta is divided by itself we have one here cos beta minus this will be sine alpha sine beta and in the denominator we will have cos alpha cos beta and you can see that cos beta is cancelled out with cos beta cos alpha is cancelled out with cos alpha here this all is cancelled out and what we have here is in fact sine alpha over cos alpha means tan alpha plus tan beta tan beta 1 minus tan alpha into tan beta. This is fifth trigonometric identity tan alpha plus beta equal to. So we're going to use this trigonometric identity a lot as well and now let's replace beta by minus beta. Replace beta by minus beta and this will give us tan of alpha minus beta equal to this will become tan alpha here if we draw this line tan alpha plus tan minus beta this will become 1 minus tan alpha into tan minus beta but because tan minus beta is equal to minus tan beta the reason tan beta is odd function and it throws out negative sign with the angle 
in front of the term. So this way we are going to have tan of alpha minus beta equal to tan alpha minus tan beta over 1 plus tan alpha tan beta. So these are six trigonometric identities which we very frequently use while solving questions and either you should have these trigonometric identities in the form of a formula sheet or memorize them by heart. Anyways, now if we want to prove, we have been using that show that show that sine is odd function odd function if that is so we can see that if it was sine of alpha minus beta so since alpha, sine of alpha minus beta is equal to sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta and it's if we want to prove that in other words we want to prove that sine of minus beta is equal to minus sine beta this is what we want to prove because we have used it a lot so there should be no doubt in your mind that's why we are going to prove it and for this we, as, we use this identity and put alpha is equal to 0 in this. Put alpha is equal to 0. This means sine of 0 minus beta is equal to sine 0 into cos beta minus cos 0 into sine of beta. And you know that sine 0 is equal to 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1. This gives us sine of minus beta equal to 0 time cos beta minus 1 time sine beta. And there you have the proof that sine of minus beta is equal to minus sine beta minus sine beta so all these little laws they f follow from these fundamental laws and similarly similarly we can prove we can prove that cos of minus beta is equal to cos beta and if you want to prove tan of minus theta that is equal to minus tan theta these all can be proved just like if for cos minus beta is equal to minus beta so let's call this as 1 this as 2 so if we use cos of alpha minus beta and put alpha and 0 in that identity we are going to have these results and we will also take a look on the behavior of and these sine cos and tan when theta is equal to pi by 2 but that we will do in the next lesson.